So Connor Ben has declared that he's finally been cleared of his steroid use allegation in PEDs. And naturally, being a matchroom fighter, Eddie Hearn was excited. Now, there was one part about his declaration that, you know, I took exception to me personally, man. It all sounded good until this point where Connor Ben reads, and I quote, as someone who was so passionate about boxing and an advocate for a clean sport, I hope now I have been cleared. It can be understood why I have maintained my innocence so strongly throughout. As a man of God, I bear no ill will toward UCAD or the British Boxing Board of Control. We have a shared ambition of a clean sport, to which the only appropriate response would be, cool. I'm for one and happy that Conor Ben is back to boxing, you know, but I do not believe in the sincerity of this letter. Let's get into why. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxing Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out. As you can see in the intro, you know, we talked about Conor Ben making the statement, you know, announcing his him being cleared from the steroid allegations that has taken two years out of his boxing career you know what i'm saying and i just thought it was a pretty good statement you know like i said i just thought one part was a little iffy you know he looked a little suspicious you know because you know i was like man connor ben you know he wants a clean sport it all sounded good but then i just recalled i was like hold on i remember what you said in regards to Devin haney and ryan garcia situation ryan garcia i don't think he done it first things first number two he's an idiot so here, you're saying that you don't believe Ryan Garcia did it. So let me get this straight. You're claiming your innocence and you want us to believe that. Okay, cool. You're saying Ryan Garcia was also innocent. He didn't do it. But then at the same time, you're also saying that you are an advocate for a clean sport. But wait, you don't believe in UCAD. You don't believe in the findings of VADA, WADA, or the BBBFC, or the NYSAC. All five are entities that played a big role, a significant role of declaring that you and Ryan Garcia cheated. We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. That's all. So if you don't believe in the entity's ability to determine whether people are actually doping or not, how the hell can you be an advocate for a clean sport? So I need you to propose a way that you want to effectively detect if people are cheating or using banned substances or PEDs. If you can't do that, then bitch, we don't believe you. <laughs> I'm going to just be very honest, man. You don't believe in the way that they detect steroids because the New York State Athletic Commission with Ryan Garcia and Vada and Wada with Ryan Garcia, they're the ones that found that Ryan Garcia failed the test. You see what I'm saying? And the UCAD, you know, the UK Anti-Doping Agency and the BBBFC, the British Boxing Board of Control, they determined that you cheated. So if you don't believe in the detection systems that are in place to find out if people are cheating, I just don't understand how you can say that you are an advocate for a clean sport if you don't even believe in the, the instruments that are in place to detect if people are cheating. So how about this? I propose that we have the two dirty, PD popping, innocent fighters get in a battle and knock each other's heads off. I'd watch that. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? That's number one. Number two, you know, he has went out his way, you know, to call out people. Like I said, I love this. I love the fact that he's back, but we are going to, you know, question some of the legitimacy of some of these claims that he's making. But now that he's back and Eddie Hearn is excited for it, you know, he's called out guys like Chris Eubank Jr. You know, he called out Javante Davis, called out Devin Haney, and he also called out Errol Spence. <laughs> I think this is funny because none of these guys are in the 147 pound division, which he said he was coming back to, right? He didn't call out Jerome Boots Ennis. He didn't call out Amante Stonionis. He didn't call out Mario Barrio. So even Brian Norman Jr. Come on then, give me Ennis. No problem. Give me Barrios. Give me Stanionis. I don't. Bullshit! 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 
but he said anyone could get it so i would be interested in all of these fights you know but i do i would like to see him come back and and and, and fight people that are in his division because those to me are more realistic with the exception of chris eubank jr but yeah man i, I just want to drop that news right there man that that connor ben is back i'm looking forward to it and and shout out to him because whether you believe that he was innocent or not whether you believe that he was cleared or not or that he cheated or not the the fact remains that he served his time you know and i think that once you serve your time and your punishment it doesn't really matter to me man but i do think in order to keep the integrity of the sport the purity of the sport the sanctity of the sport then when people do wrong then you should punish them and rep and reprimand them for it, you know and i think that this is a, a case of that i don't think that this uh, uh exonerates him um you know i know that they're saying that he's cleared now that's fine it could be he could be cleared he, maybe it was the eggs and he didn't cheat intentionally but like i said when you when you cheat when you have stuff in your system it's not about whether you have did it intentionally or not it's about it being present in your system because negligence is not an excuse for you to have a banned substance in your system during a fight man because we want to look out for the welfare of these people competing in this ring because the fight the, the the sport is already brutal you know what i'm saying so big up to connor ben for returning back to the sport but i did have to call him out on that thing because he's saying that he wants a clean sport but then you're also saying at the same time that you didn't do it and neither did the other guy ryan garcia who was just accused of cheating you're also saying he didn't do it so <laughs> so how, how are you going to make a clean sport if you only believe in the testing processes i'm not saying they're not flawed what i'm saying is you got to at least propose a system that will be more effective you know so i appreciate y'all rock with me as always let me know what y'all think about that in the comments don't forget to hit that like button but most importantly remember with god we can do anything without god we are nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets